Kindergartners, today we are going to get those plates back that we mixed our orange on for our pumpkins. On that plate, there are a bunch of hole punches. There's a piece of yarn that's tied. And on the other end of that yarn is a needle. The needle has an eye of the needle, which is where the yarn is tied onto. And then it has a side that's got a point. It's not super sharp. We're not going to get any owies today. But we're going to use this whole piece of yarn to do a running stitch. So a running stitch we just learned about means we're going to go down any hole and we pull and pull and pull that piece of yarn. If you get tiny little knots like I just did, you can gently pull them apart. If you need help, just ask an adult. I'm going to keep pulling and pulling and pulling that piece of yarn until I can't pull anymore. That yarn is straight. My yarn's at the bottom of my plate on the white side now. I'm going to pick another hole, and my needle's going to come up, and I'm going to pull and pull and pull. You can go in and out of any holes today. Now I'm going to dive down and pull and pull and pull and pull. And when I pull, I kind of have to grab. I can't just pull it with one arm length. I'll show you that in a second. So I went down, and now I'm going to come up right here. If I pull, my arm can't stretch any further. I kind of have to take my fingers with my needle and go back to the hole to pull. I'm up and now I'm going to dive down and pull and re-grab it and pull. And now I'm underneath. I'm going to dive up. So it's a pattern. Say the pattern in your head with me. Up and pull down and pull. Up and pull. Down and pull. I'm trying to work my way all the way around the plate to all the holes. It does not matter the order you go in. If you don't have enough yarn to get all the holes, that's okay. This is going to be close. I'm going to go right next door right here so I don't use a bunch of yarn. And then I'm going to pull. And I'm going to come up this last hole. Let's see how far I can get. And pull. And I want to try to end down. I have made my way around every hole. So I'm just going to dive down and pull. At this point, we need our scissors. We are going to cut a tail. And cut our needle off. Mrs. Cleary will come around and collect the needles. Just set them down. You're going to use your one tiny piece of tape and you're going to tape that tail on the back of your plate so it stays there. To make this look a little bit more like a pumpkin, you're going to find some paper and a pipe cleaner at your table. This is a new kind of paper. There's a shiny side and then there's a side that doesn't have a lot of shine. It's lick and stick paper. I'm going to lick a tiny edge of this. Just one little lick and it makes it sticky and I'm going to put it on my pumpkin on one side. Then your pipe cleaner is going to go right next to it. The pipe cleaner is going to go in one hole and oh look it's on the other side. I'm going to give it a little bend. It has a wire in it. You're going to take the little hook, it looks like a check mark, and we're going to twist these two together around and around. You can bend that green pipe cleaner however you would like. If you want to bend it so it has a zigzag or a curl, that is all we're doing with our pumpkin. It's going to go on Mrs. Clary's rocking chair when you're all done.